Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Hey, today we're going to be working on a real world problem. Recently, I've been reading a lot in social media and hearing jokes from friends talking about how they don't use math. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, you all use math. And they're like, no, we don't. And I'm like, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to create a video. So that's why we're here today. Well, part of it, too, is that my brother called and he asked, he says, hey, bro, can you help me out with this equation to figure out what the rain runoff is for my property? You know, the, the flow rate. So when it rains, it hits your house and it hits your garage and it hits your driveway and other places. And it's like, well, what's the runoff that could come off your property? And that varies by where you're at. So let's take a look at this map. This map is showing us the rainfall intensity. It's a historic 100-year map. And down in the corner there, you'll see where we're working at in Florida. And it's four for the region where he's at. But wait, that's going to be significant. Let's take a look at the data that's given. So we have the storm wa water runoff, which is Q. C is equal to, that's the coefficient, okay, for runoff. And one is for impervious areas, so that's going to be like the roof, the asphalt, and concrete. That means that rain can hit it and it's not going to absorb it that much, okay, if any at all. And then for the grass area, we're using a coefficient of 0.35. Now let's get back to the, the problem here. Uh, so I have Q, which is the storm water runoff. C is the coefficient. I is the intensity. And then A is that area. And we divide everything by 96.23. What that does is that converts everything that's in square feet into gallons per minute. So let's plug in these numbers. So right here, I say Q is equal to C. So we're going to do the impervious. So I'm going to put an I there. So it's QI is equal to C, which is 1, times, we looked at that map and it was 4, because it's 4 inches, times the area. Now the area for impervious is going to be the square footage of the roof divided by two. So it's half the square footage of the roof plus the other impervious features like the patio, walkways, and driveway. And that came up to a total of 3,306 square feet. And we're going to divide that whole thing. You know what? Let's do it this way so it makes a little more sense. Because remember, we can do this. 9.6 0.23. Now what does that equal? Let's get out our calculator and figure it out. We don't need to multiply one by anything. It's one times anything. It's just itself. It's the identity. Okay, so 4 times 3306. That's going to give me a value of 13,224 divided by 96.23 equals 137.420. I'm only I'm rounding to the hundreds, so I'm just going to do 137.42. So that's for the impervious. Now let's take a look at the per pervious, or like you know, soil and sand and grass and vegetation. So I'm going to do QP for pervious, and that's going to equal to now that coefficient changes because it's all the other area so when you subtract all of that is going to be the uh, the impervious area, which is equal to 14,241, which is the square foot of the land parcel, minus that pervious area of 3,306 feet, square feet. So I have my coefficient is 0 0.35. You can see that in this chart. And then times that 4, which is the rainfall intensity for that 100 year, times the area. So this is where the area is. It's going to be 10,935 feet. And we're going to divide that all by 
3. Okay, and that's going to equal to, let's take a look here. So 0.35 times 4 equals 1.4, and then multiply that by 10,935. So I have 15,309 divided by 96.23, that's going to equal 159.087. Since I'm rounding up to the nearest hundreds, it's going to be 159.09 because the number to the right of that 8 is greater than 5, so I round it up to the hundreds. Okay, so now I take this number and I add it. So these two get added together. And I'm just going to do it out here. Let's see here. So I have 137.42 plus 159.09 equals 296.51. 296.51. And that's going to be gallons per minute. So that's a key number right there for determining the, the flow of water off the property when it has a, uh, a downpour. And that's going to be helpful for if you're putting in a, uh, another patio, a basketball court, uh, tearing out stuff and putting in just like a sands feature. Uh, so it could mean that your, your flow off of your property is greater or you may need to get uh, a retention pond or some other way to re, you know reclaim the, the water that's hitting the ground and and instead of having it flow off your property you get to retain it. Until next time this is Mr. Woods Teaches showing you a real world application for mathematics. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.